All right, so editing the video right now. This is post. And, um, you know, just talking over this clip real quick because I wanted to, you know, mention. I'm going to let everything play out. But the very next day after you guys see me test fitting the wheels here, that is when I crashed the car. Okay? Brakes failed very next day. God works in mysterious ways. But here we are. So This is going to be spicy, bro. Oh, yeah, we're at Nova. That's what's up, bro. That's good. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. TCR. <laughs> yeah. What's up, y'all? Uh, obviously, you know, I got some explaining to do. You know, y'all can see the car is not the same way it was before. Um, after the wrap initially got done, we were on the right path. The wheels were on the way. Car was looking stupid. Car was looking stupid, right? Car was look, it was it was looking crazy. Oh, we got somebody coming with this. This gang. My boy. Yeah, you're popular. Where's the lobby? Where I don't know yeah. what's going on. Just got random people spotted in. But yeah, as y'all can see, the whip was was on the right path, and just another setback. You know, some shit we used to. Slowly but surely, it's gonna be back. I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on. One day at a time. Yeah. 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 All right, so long awaited. I'm about to update y'all on my thingy. I can't even call it a car right now. This thing's in shambles, but got my brother with me. Familiar face. Y'all know them. He got his car back too. So many updates. Oh my God. He had a, you hit a deer. Shit out of deer. Deer hunting. Took him out. Why you do him like that? Why you do me like that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to show y'all pictures, bro. Damn, fool. But look what you got though. That's new. You ain't had that before. I didn't. I like it. Okay, okay. The gap is a little. We're not gonna talk about the gap. It is what it is. The baddest biddies have the smallest gap. Wisdom. He's, pre he's preaching right now. I would never lead y'all astray. But yeah. Here to give y'all an update. You put your bumper back on. Bruh. I'm just out here riding around. Just down bad. Mad Max. <laughs> Hood is new. This had to get replaced because the old one got bent in the accident. Same thing with the fenders. This side got pushed all the way up. And this side had cracks in it. I will say the fitment on the old fenders is way better than these, but no, new fenders, I can't complain. I didn't pay for them out of pocket, so yeah. Had to do the AC condenser radiator support. Um, basically all the front end stuff again. Still gotta get a new crash bar, which I will be putting on soon. The bumper I do have, cause I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about why I don't have a bumper again. I have the bumper, it's at my boy band shop. I'm just waiting to get wrapped in them once it's wrapped, it's going on. It's crazy the day after my wheels finally came in. That's when, you know, everything happened. But, you know, it happened for a reason. So, can't be mad. I'm blessed to still be here because brakes failed. You never know. Like, I could have been speeding and not be here talking to y'all right now. So, I'm just thankful to still be here alive and well. I walked out of, everyone walked out of the accident unscathed in my car for the most part. Uh, initially, I thought it was total, I'm not gonna lie. I had a little meltdown, but you know, she's here and she's good. I'm, I'm just thankful for the whole situation, the way everything panned out. Couldn't be more blessed, so. Yeah, just wanted to say that. And those are the parts that have already been replaced. Honestly, all, like most of the work that needed to be done is pretty much done. Just waiting on the bumper. Then I'll be throwing the wheels on, doing the calipers, and that's pretty the much next it. next day. Yeah, this is present day. As of now, where we are back at with the car. Kind of, sort of, back in one piece. Um, bumper is on, so that's something. But bumper on, hood and fenders back, brand new. Uh, we'll say the fitment on these, like I said earlier, it's not as good as the first set that I had, but car is a car again it's not uh doesn't look like it's missing a tooth or something 
Got punched in the mouth. Excited to finally be back. I don't want to keep explaining like my hiatuses. Okay, I just kind of want to be back in the game with the working car. And I know in the past, like I made all these videos about Lexus's reliability. It just so happens, I guess that I get the lemon <laughs> where I have the worst luck and all the bad shit happens to, but excuse my language. Nothing that happens to this car is really the car's fault. It's either just me being an idiot, bad stuff happening to me, or I don't know. Most of the time, just me being an idiot. The car is heavily modded, so stuff is bound to break. On cars that are modded, that's just stuff that happens. This is my first car. It has taught me a lot of stuff, so I'm so thankful, you know, that I've had this learning experience because I'm gonna take that information with me, you know, like to the next car, so that's a plus. But enough of me rambling, you know, we back. And hopefully, you know, there's no wood to knock on, no ditty. But hopefully nothing else happens to this thing for a while. Because the vision has not changed through all the hiccups, all the, the nonsense that has continued to happen to this thing. The, the vision has not changed at all. I still got a lot planned for what I want to do with this thing. I kind of already showed you guys the wheels. Those will be going on soon, man. About to get tires for those this month, so. Just gotta find someone to roll the fenders. As y'all can see, we don't have yet thanks anymore. Gonna be changing that soon. I have a new plate idea. And I also need someone who can re-clear clear coat because my carbon fiber is cooked. This part just gets baked in the sun. And yeah, it looks nasty. It's nasty. This part's good. That part though, not as good. And I really should have recorded this video a couple of days ago, like when my car was actually still clean because the pollen didn't got it again, but whatever. I haven't been to this parking lot in forever, and this is one of the OG spots. But yeah, really just wanted to come on here and give y'all an update on the car. I know earlier I kind of explained how I was gonna start the interior swap. Um, and I've already started that, so. My boy, Will, had black interior on his old um, 250. Have his rear and his seats. I gotta do these door cards in the front, but have the door cards for the rear. I'm gonna be doing that headliner as well. So it'll be more stuff to come, I mean. Just, you know, God forbid something else happens to the car again. Got my fingers crossed, my toes crossed, my nose crossed. I got everything crossed, you know. We'll see. But I'm sorry, y'all. Don't crucify me, okay? I know I've been gone for a minute. Next time y'all see it, we'll have new wheels, okay? Calipers, gonna be painted. And a couple other little things. Like, I gotta get a new piece for um right here. Just a little strip for the grill. And I need to fix fitment all around on this front end because there's some gaps that are not the best. But I mean, yeah, I don't really have too much to say. I'm just back. Kind of sweating. But back. Y'all get the point.